Okay, <clears throat> when talking with a Jew, uh, a Jewish person, I think it's a little bit easier than talking with an atheist or an unbeliever because Jews believe the Old Testament. So we can use that. An atheist, you can't really use the Bible to uh, prove something to them. Well, the verse says dot, dot, dot. So therefore you should believe it. You can't do that with an atheist. But with an, a Jewish person, you can use the Old Testament for that, the Torah, the Talmud, et cetera. Um, I would begin by reminding them of Jeremiah 31, 31. It's easy to remember, Jeremiah 31, 31, okay? Because they think it's the same covenant, it's one covenant and it remains the same. And it's a continuation of that covenant. Jeremiah 31, 31, it says, Behold, the dark coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that, took, uh, that I took them by the hand and led them out of the land of Egypt. So it's saying that the covenant that they are waiting for, or the Messiah that they're waiting for based on that covenant, there's a new covenant that, that has more in it. And maybe they would, you know, hopefully uh, accept that, but can see that this can be negotiated uh, or argued or debated. One of the, uh, <clears throat> my favorite yeah, the arguments that prove that our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of Mary and Joseph, Saint Mary and Saint Joseph, um, is actually uh, statistics and numbers. If you know me, you know I love numbers. One of the things that I was trying to prepare an answer for this question that I came across is, um, is this. So the, the Old Testament has about 2,100 prophecies in general. Um, but 300 of them are, they're called messianic prophecies. They're prophecies that point that Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one we worship, is the Messiah, the awaited Messiah. So the statistician did the numbers and they said, okay, it, the chance of one individual living at the time of Jesus in the first century Filling only eight out of those 300 messianic prophecies is one in 10 to the power of 17. Now, you're all college students and recent grads and Sharif Ace are like, this should come in 10 with 17 zeros after it. That will be to give you an idea, which I like that the analogies. Uh, that will be equivalent to covering the whole state of Texas, which is the biggest state after Alaska, you know, the biggest land state, with silver dollar coins two feet deep, and then expecting a, a blindfolded man to walk across the state of Texas, and you mark one of those dollars with like a Sharpie or something, okay, and you put it in this pile, and you blindfold a person, you expect them to walk anywhere across the state of Texas and stick their hand in, and pull out that one coin, okay? Two feet deep of solar coins covering the entire state of Texas, and have, that's the chance of that person sticking in their hand and picking up the right coin, the marked coin, from the very first try, while blindfolded, I mean. <laughs> okay, if you add eight more prophecies, so, I mean, 16 prophecies out of the 300, the chance of one person at the time of Jesus, first century, um, fulfilling the 16 prophecies is 10 to the power of 45. Now it's 10 with 45 zeros. So they said this, if you take 10 to the power of 45 silver dollars and take a ball out of them, okay, and place the center of that ball where the center of our sun is, Okay, this big silver ball's outer edge would be approximately the same area that Neptune orbits on the sun. Okay, um, one man fulfilling all 16 prophecies by sheer chance would be like sending a blindfolded person to go into that big ball somehow, it's a the sphere, okay. And from the first time, handpick 
that won the dollar, that marked silver dollar. Um, it's like unfathomable, right? There's no way. I'll add uh, just another notch, another step, okay? They said, okay, if you take only 48 out of this 100 prophecies, it's like not even one sixth of them, okay? The chance of one person at the time of our Lord Jesus Christ in the first century fulfilling all those 48 prophecies is 10 to the power of 157. I don't even know what that means. Okay, so this statistician, he happens to be also an astronomer. And so this, this helps us. Okay, so he said, okay, for the dollars, that's the deal too big. He said, if you get uh, 10 to the power of 157 electrons. I can't do this. Like it's okay, not atoms, but electrons. And pressing them into a solid ball, a solid 3D ball, made entirely of just electrons. This ball would pretty much fill not only our galaxy, but the entire known universe with at least six billion light years in all directions. That's how big that sphere would be. And not only that, that universe would have to be filled with the atoms about 10 trillion, trillion times. I don't even, I, I can't, my brain, is like, like I can't even imagine that, okay? And having a blindfolded person stick the end and pick the right marked atom, if that's even possible. Now, a person fulfilled all 300 prophecies. I'm, don't worry, I'm not going to get it. There's nothing that we can imagine or have that can match all that. It's just at one in infinity. I think in just 48 prophecies in one in infinity. It's just, it's unfathomable. And, and numbers don't lie. I love numbers because they're predictable. They're always honest. They are truth. They are what they are. So... People who, you know, people will say what they say. People will have to things to kind of defend their belief. Um, but just we're looking at, okay, the Old Testament has been written before our Lord was born. He matched all 300 messy prophecies. You go figure that out. Um, How many total messianic prophecies you said there were in total? 300 uh, in the so Old like Testament. 300 out of 300, you says. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Oh, okay. Wow. There's a total of 2,500 prophecies, I think, about 2,500 total prophecies, but 2,200 of those don't are specifically about our Lord Jesus Christ, they're just general prophecies. Okay. okay. Um, okay. So there's just no way. Actually, I think I copied the link. Let me see if I have it pasted. Nope. Um, if anybody wants to text me, I'll send them the link to that uh, article, that study, and that's my cell number uh, in the chat group there. Um, I'll have to get out of the presentation to copy something and then paste it in here. I copied the link, but then I copied something else over it. But you can uh, text me and um, I'll, I'll send you that uh, link. Um, so, Okay, you know, everybody can claim whatever they want. You know, like like uh, the Muslim people uh, claim, yeah, 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 Jesus did die, but like it, he was on the cross, but God replaced him with somebody that looks like him. Um, so yeah, everybody can believe what to help you know sleep at night, but we have. Yanni, I want you to be so strong in, in your faith and in, in your evidence. Just look at numbers. There's nothing else to say. All right.